Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Breiner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, today I'd like to talk about custom sheet metal rules in Fusion 360. So they're pretty easy and uh, very intuitive, but I think I'd like to go through it with you. So uh, starting with our version of Fusion, I want to go to our pull down and select the sheet metal environment. So without even opening a part or anything, we can go right here to the Modify panel, and there's an icon for our sheet metal rules. Now this is um, our library. So typically you'll see it may be uh, closed, but you can open up. And you can see that I've already placed uh, a few of my custom, um, custom sheet metal rules in there. And they can be as simple as um, <clears throat> adding your thickness, uh, putting your your uh, specific K factor in there, and your miter gap, which can be um, uh, pretty particular depending if you're going to weld or, or uh, leave it just on the bend. You have your bend conditions, um, and you have your corner conditions. So you can uh, preset a lot of these dependent on how you want to... Um, have your sheet metal rule. So uh, the nice thing is I can just come in, if I have one already created, I can come up and say, well, I'm just going to take this one now. I can edit the rule here, or I can start a new rule. And if I select a new rule here on the right, it will basically copy the rule that I'm hovering over. So right here, you'll see that I have a steel uh, 16 gauge. So what I'm going to do is just reconfigure this slightly and I'm going to make this for uh, 14 gauge. All right. So uh, I'm going to make that I guess 0 0.075 and for my K factor I think I'll put that at you know again this is something that's particular for your company uh, depending on um, <clears throat> what your testing is going to come out with your K factors. Um, so my miter, uh, I don't want it uh, quite that thick, so I could always just say times 0.5. So it's going to be half the thickness. Uh, I can actually just put in a a number in there if I want. If I want just 0 0.03125, I can certainly uh, I can certainly just add that too. Uh, bend conditions, uh, same thing. My bend radius uh, for the thicker, for the thinner ones, I may want it maybe a little bit sharper than the thickness. Or uh, for a thicker material, getting up over quarter inch, you may uh, want to increase this bend radius. So you have your uh, reliefs. If you want these, uh, the thinner ones, I typically like a, a tear. And um, then we can get down to our corner conditions so you can set these individually just depending on uh, what your work process is going to specify so I'll leave this with a round uh, radius and as soon as I say save you'll see that it brings it right down here at the bottom and I have uh, I have my settings as is now the only thing I don't really like about this is it comes in as you create them and, and you can't really move them and sort them around. So this morning I went on to the Fusion uh, website and um, there's um, recommendations for idea station. So I just put in a quick recommendation that maybe we could be able to sort and group these to our liking so I can keep all my steels together, my stainless steels, my aluminums, things like that. Uh, lastly, I guess the only thing is uh, you can come in here and you can uh, set one of these as your default. So as you start a part, that is the rule that is typically going to be uh, used. But you certainly can change it afterwards if you like. As soon as you uh, you create your part, you can go in and and, uh, and change whatever you prefer. So it's not a. And I'll say okay. So here's my my rule, but I can certainly go in here and say, well, maybe I didn't want uh, the 16 gauge. Maybe I want uh, or the 14 gauge. Maybe I need a 16 or an 18 gauge. And all of a sudden, those rules will be in effect. That's it. 
So it's quick, it's easy, and um, certainly makes your life a lot easier just setting up a whole series of library standards. Okay, so I hope this um, is a good tip for you, uh, helps you out. Uh, until next time, this is Dave Reiner from Centers of Technologies. Have a great day.